The debate over unionizing the auto industry in Alabama is getting more intense. Today, a majority of workers at the Mercedes plant in Vance say they've signed union cards in support of joining the United Auto Workers Union. Josh Gant has more on what the workers say they want. Josh? Steve, workers are demanding change, saying they've gone many years without meaningful raises, among other issues. They say now is the time to stand up and do what's right. We're exercising our right to fight for a better life. A majority of workers at the Mercedes plant in Vance signaling they want to join the United Auto Workers Union. The shocking announcement made in a right to work state comes just months into UAW's effort to organize all non-union auto plants in the U.S. We spoke with Jeremy Kimbrell last month about conditions inside the plant. We do a good job and Mercedes selling cars valued over $100,000 a piece at our factory. Uh, they work as unbelievable extra shifts. They're happy that they're here. They just don't want to pay us. They want us to work for less. Better pay is one of the things workers are fighting for. A recent report by Alabama Arise shows pay and earnings among Alabama auto workers have dropped 11 percent between 2002 and 2019. Despite rising profits for the auto manufacturing companies and robust economic growth um, in the years that followed the Great Recession, we have seen that Alabama's auto workers are, are earning less than they did a generation ago. Anderson says the report also found big gaps in pay across race and gender lines, as well as deteriorating conditions on some of the shop floors. We just found that the payoff for workers just has not kept up with time. And to the extent that we continue to give out a lot of corporate subsidies and incentives, we want to make sure that our workers are taken care of as well. We got this statement from Mercedes saying in part the company has st strong record of success over the past 25 plus years operating as one team in Alabama. The company says it has a proven record of competitively compensating workers and providing many benefits. The company also says it has a positive team culture and an open door policy for its workers. Alabama Secretary of Commerce recently telling us that the state's economic future is on the line here. She and other state leaders, including the governor, are going to fight the auto United Auto workers. Steve.